against a backdrop of light, color, walls, water, humor, and conscience. No, it's not the latest movie, but instead the key elements used by internationally known architect Ricardo Lagaretta to produce the design for the new San Antonio Central Library. The Central Library opens May 20th, 1995 at 600 Soledad Plaza, the former location of the Sears building. The new Central Library consists of seven floors, six above ground and one below ground. Its walls encompass approximately 240,000 square feet. But the walls created by Legareta mean much more to him than just a way to enclose space. Walls mean many things to me, he said. They're not only the support of a building, they're a way to achieve a feeling of intimacy, to create mystery. Though Legareta is known internationally, most of his work has been done in Mexico with some commissions in California and Texas. He is very proud of his Mexican heritage and its influence is evident in his work. In the Central Library, it is noticeable in its enchilada red color. A strong blue, red, or yellow makes a space spring out at you and your heart beat faster, Legareta stated. I wanted to break the concept that libraries are imposing, he said. I hope people will now enter the library to admire its architecture, but also to stay and read as well. These words were taken from Ricardo Legareta, the inside story about the man behind the design of San Antonio's new Central Library. The Central Library itself is like stepping into a work of art. Over the last 25 years, many new works of art have been added to the interior as well, including pieces by Jesse Trevino, Dale Chihuly, and Fernando Botero. Other changes include services that have been added and spaces designed for special collections and users, like the Latino Collection and Resource Center and the Teen Library. Please enjoy these highlights from Central Library's special spaces and collections. The Texana Genealogy Department was created in 1995 when the Central Library opened to house the library's collection of local history, Texas, and genealogy collections. Our mission is to acquire, preserve, and offer access to research materials relating to San Antonio, Bear County, and Texas history, in addition to North American and Hispanic genealogy. These special collections are housed on the sixth floor of the Central Library. The area offers a dedicated reading room with subject specialist librarians that provide researchers access to the collections. Formats include books, maps, microforms, serials, photographs, newspapers, databases, archival collections, ephemera, postcards, and works of art. The Texana Collection is geographically focused. They chronicle the history and the development of all aspects of San Antonio, Bear County, and Texas, from prehistoric times to the present. Broad subjects include archaeology, culture, history, natural resources, and wildlife. Our genealogy collections are also geographically focused. Broad subjects include county histories, church records, family genealogies, military records, and passenger lists. For all your local history and genealogy research needs, visit us on the sixth floor of the Central Library in the Texana and Genealogy Department. We hope to see you soon. The Central Children's Department is a fabulous place on the third floor of the Central Library that is all for kids of all ages. We have a special team here that specializes in children's books and our favorite thing to do is help people find books all day. That's what we're waiting for you to come and ask us a question because we will help you. We have computers for kids to use that have internet access and applications for doing homework and we have really cool early learning touchscreen computers for little ones as well. The low vision room on the third floor has braille material, large print books, we also have books on CD, we 
have a special machine that can zoom in on a book and project it very large. And the really cool thing about this room is the tactile art. We have art in here that is meant to be experienced through touch. We are looking forward to seeing you and sharing all of this great stuff with you. Welcome to Jobs and Small Business Center, JSBC on the Central Stiff Floor. Our staff here are every day helping patrons with searches on jobs, applications, resumes, cover letters, and small business research. Here at the JSBC, you have access to nine computers where you can come and work on your resume. You can prepare a cover letter or you can do research on jobs. We also have two multifunction printers that you can use to print out your resumes, cover letters, and applications. You can print out up to five for free per day. You can use JSBC here or at home as long as you have your library card. Have access to certain things like Reference USA, Brain Fuse Now, and many other titles that you can also use to help you with your workforce development and small business research. So a long-standing tradition here at the JSBC is our bell. When people are successful in their job search, they return and they come and ring the bell to announce their success. So let us here at JSBC help you ring that bell. Hi, I'm Sam and Teen Library. Uh, we're located on the third floor at Central. We have so many fun activities to do. We have a music studio, which is open on Mondays. Tuesdays, we've got gaming, board games, card games, Smash Brothers. On uh, Wednesdays, we have the Tech Lab open, which we do uh, virtual reality in the Oculus Rift. We have 3D printing, robotics equipment. Um, Thursdays, you're gonna find Regina in the um, arts and crafts area. She uh, makes so many great recipes. She does so many different arts and crafts. And you know, we can do everything any day of the week, but those are the specific days for our um, activities. And until we can see you all in here, go to the MySapple page, take a 3D tour of our area, and go to our Instagram account, at 210 Teen Library, to check out everything we do in here, all the good times we have, and all the tips we have for you teens who are at home right now. Hi everyone, Emma Hernandez here. Welcome to the Latino Collection and Resource Center. This is the newest part of Central Library located on the first floor. We opened about in 2017. Uh, here you will find all sorts of items related to Latino culture and heritage. We have a small but growing collection of 14,000 items. You can find author talks, panel series, workshops, uh, all sorts of things available to the public and to all ages. The Latino Collection and Resource Center features an art gallery that includes some very prominent artists in the Mexican-American art scene. You may recognize this piece by Carmen Loma Garza, Baile 1958, which was featured in many children's books in the early 1990s. Within our collection, you'll find all sorts of topics from art books, fiction, poetry, even board books for children. There's something for everyone in your family to support them in learning about the Latino history and culture that is so prominent in San Antonio. Hi everyone, my name is Bree and this is the Zine Collection, located in the second floor of the art area. Um, what is a zine, you may ask? A zine is a self-published, self-circulated piece of art, poetry, comics, whatever you want to make it out to be. It's usually circulated within a hundred people or less. Our big red zine. This was um, first published last year in 2019 in collaborative effort with our community and San Antonio Public Library put together the zine. This is the first issue. The theme was I love my library. Um, we are just starting this collection so if you want to donate to um, the zine collection drop in a zine. Yum! A lot has changed since 1995. We look forward to seeing what the next 25 years bring and sharing the journey with you.